It's popping people. It's double line. And it's been a very long time. I stopped playing AR when... I think when Regan released. I may have made one video with her. Maybe not. I don't remember. But, uh... I guess I got back into it. I've been bored recently. And... Yeah. So I'm not in a vault of heaven yet. I'll probably get into it this week. As long as my matches go well. Uh, I made a new defense team for Astra. Um, actually, before I go into it, I'll show you guys my previous map. Uh, all these teams are so outdated. Yeah, so this is what I used to run. I'm sure you guys all remember this one. So now I gotta run something new because I feel like that team... Uh, nope, not that one. But yeah, this one. Uh, I don't know. The other team, it was doing okay, but... I feel like it's so easily beatable with, uh, what's her name? Uh, Ninja Lin. So, yeah. This team's much harder to reach my units. Uh, actually, let me go over what's on this team. So, I got my Tanya. I threw Budding Bow on her. Dead Eye times Pulse. You know the deal. It's my girl. I have to have her on every team. Uh, Dual Lift. This unit's a monster. I was trying to get uh, Henrietta. I ended up with him. Not mad at all. Um, yeah, I, I built a Felix. He's only plus two. Uh, attack defense solo and his own bow. He's really good. This spot catches people off guard. People don't realize that he can reach here. So sometimes they'll get sniped. And he's pretty strong with the bonfire and uh, the bolt fighter. And yeah, Tanya's just a monster. And this guy's so broken. With attack defense push to lull. And he gets plus six to all stats, and their healing specials don't work. Like, it's just not even fair. I kind of want another Mirabilis. I think that would take this team even more over the top. Or maybe even another duo unit, just so they can't just snipe one and be able to proc their own duo skill. But yeah, I really like um, this map. I think it makes it really hard to snipe the structures. And there's some good space control here. So yeah, let's get into the defense replays. Only two so far. And it's turned out well. I don't have the bonus uh, mythics. You're going to see me. Even next season, Like I don't have a Bram. So that makes things kind of tough. That's also one of the reasons why I stopped playing. Just because they force you to get all the mythics to score well. Or to reach Vaults of Heaven. Uh, so the first match, it's nothing too special. What is this? Plus one Altina. Or, yeah, Altina. No merge on the Corrin. Plus two. I also have three of these that I don't know what to do with. They're probably all going to be distant counter fodder. So, yeah. So let's see what this guy does. Her animation's on. I'll turn him on. So he just goes from right where he is. Let's take a look at his stats. So he's not getting hit too hard. Yeah. I think she soaks. Yeah. So this Corrin's actually pretty good at doing dealing with this duo left. I actually got one of these Corrin's. I was trying to get Bram. I summoned with like an hour left on the last legendary banner. But yeah, it wasn't in the cards for me. It gave me her instead. I only used like 30 orbs or something. But yeah, Tanya's a monster. Can't really stop her. The getting Fang wasn't enough. And my team moves up. If I had another Mirabilis, I would have swapped it for this. For what's her name? And then threw Ground Warders on her, so my... Uh, Thirstier can move around more. That's alright. This is the, like, prototype phase for this team. It'll be better eventually. Yeah, so he thinks he's safe, but he's not. 
Felix destroys this thing. It's cool to see a unit I just built doing well. Sorry for the lag. Yeah, and Altina can't even hurt him. He's getting plus 11 attack and defense from his weapon and the attack defense solo. That's pretty cool. And the foe wasn't able to proc their special. Daltina couldn't proc her twin blades because of his weapon. Yeah, so whatever. It's just clean up. He doesn't get any pots. We'll move on to the next one. So this guy this is plus one Hector, Edelgard, Spore, Altina, Legendary Claude, and a Fjorm. I just realized recently that Fjorm gets, Fjorm gets attack defense unity. That's pretty cool. It's nice that they gave everyone free fodder. Yeah, so this is a guy that made the mistake. He didn't realize uh, the boots. Let Felix move up. So this thing's gonna get destroyed. And you should never bait Tanya with an Altina. That's just not gonna work. So yeah, Felix just comes in and destroys him. I should probably put the dancer behind Felix instead of behind Lyft. Like nothing. 66 damage. Dead Eye's crazy how it doubles your damage. It's a straight 77. Tanya is so strong. And this is surprised me. How did that hit so hard? I know it's a bonfire from Felix, but I'm surprised I'm doing this much damage. 18 times 2. That Hector's gone. It was plus defense and it was like what plus two or something. So I think he kills Tanya here. That's fine. So Sylvia goes, nothing happens, and then the Seer finishes off the arm. Not a deal. Mirabilis is in the way, so she has to hit Edelgard. And now Lyft finishes it off. Look at all those stats he gets. So that was cool. Oops. Already eight minutes in. Let's get into it. I'm using uh the team I probably use the most is uh this Mask Marth one. This scene is just insane. Like super super good. I have her built. I put burn. I summoned for a. Uh, a blue Chris on the most recent banner she was on. I don't remember which one it was. She was there, so I took it and sacked it to this. I got really lucky. I got it from a... I think I got it from a free ticket. But yeah, I basically get plus 10 to all stats as long as she has a bonus and she's by herself. Uh, plus 10 to everything except the res. You get only plus 5 to res. And foe can't make a follow-up attack. See, and it's crazy good. Sealed Fashion's insane. Uh, yeah. So I have a Brunier team with Flane here. And then I just have a Brunier team by yourself with a dual tank. And yeah. They're just some standard stuff. So let's see. I'm probably going to use Marth here. Yeah, this is an easy Marth map. I could also use Brunia. Boots, that's a little annoying. And distant counter. No wings, you have wings. 
I don't have any type of isolation for Astra Season, which kind of sucks. Uh, not a Restore Trap, that's good. I feel like Brenya handles this team well, so I'm going to go with that. Um, this Mirror Impact's annoying. Well, I'm thinking of how Mask Marth can do this. And I would probably just uh, smite her up and kill something. Hmm. Maybe I should have made a team with Martha and Brunia. That would have been nice. I'm going to go with Martha, actually. Let's just see <laughs> what this Marth can do by himself. There's nothing stopping me from proccing my duo skill. I'm slightly scared that I might just kill everything. So maybe I have to leave her alive. What's Tosik Skira do? That's fine. Oh, what's the best way to get these pots? Very annoying. Marth has to start by themselves just because I need to get bonuses on her. You have my trust. For the weapon to proc. I'm just gonna smite her up and then kill. What do I wanna kill? Maybe the Corrin. Minus attack plus speed. That's just like the one I got from my summons. Uh, yeah, this Ellie Wood's annoying, but I'm actually not that afraid of him. He's getting super debuffed by Palmeria, which is good. The sabotage. He does gale force, but I don't think he'll be able to reach any of my units. Let's do it this way so I don't get stuck on the trap. Um, I think I want to leave the soccer alive. <laughs> Look at all these stat bonuses. I think he's still dying one hit. Yup. Uh, I guess I'll proc the duo skill just because he can't stop me from doing it. <laughs> so luckily for my Marth, they can't get a follow-up attack. No, oh, I should have made sure the duo skill hit the Ellie Wood. That's alright. Wow, how annoying. Um, I think I just don't do anything here. here? Let's go together. Um, I want to make sure this thing dies when she attacks. Let's see, nothing should be able to reach. 
Yeah, I thought it was real. I did that just for the debuff. I just sent Lucina away. So that's a hard hit. Luckily, I got some damage reduction. Sheesh. Okay. Now I got a good Aether off. As long as I survive this. Oh my god. Oh, that exact damage. Are you kidding me? Um, I actually don't know how AR works. Like, do I still score fine if I take this? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I have no idea. Oh, you die. You do die. So I'll just do that. Does this form? Okay. How many turns are left? Yeah. I should be able to survive. Because, uh, oh wait, I'm not running Mystic Boost, so I will take full damage. Either way, that's a lot of res. So let's see what happens. Okay, I didn't get debuff, so I should survive. Yeah. I guess I can do this. Yeah, I still have enough turns. I know this is definitely not the trap. We've seen him only get hit once if she does attack her, so that's fine. Um, let me think if I want Altina to go up there. Zero times two, so that's good. I'll just do that, who cares? Who do you attack? So you do attack Lucina. That's fine. So let me see if that gives me full points or not. I don't know how AR works these days. Is that a full 360? It is. So I didn't lose any points for losing a unit. Okay. That's so weird. Uh, how much time? 18 minutes? I kind of want to play another one. Because I don't want to upload tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, I may as well just do it. Uh, yeah. What do you do? Plus seven defense. Okay. I don't want to overthink it. He has no dancer. There's no lunge either. I think Mask Moth should do fine here, and I'll have uh, Micaiah to pick off that thing. And the pots are at the bottom, so this is free. Uh, let's start from the right, I think. Uh, 
whatever. Uh, there's no use in testing that trap, so it's whatever. Uh, excuse the lag, I don't know why that happens. It's from the screen recorder, but I don't know how to stop it. My phone's just too old, I think. Oh, I didn't let Marth get her bonuses. Um, uh, should I wait a turn or should I just go? I'm just gonna go. I'll smite you up. What did that give me? Oh, she got about everything. Anyways. What turn is it? Okay, so I'm fine. I'm not gonna get hit by that yet. And we can end turn here. Jeez, look at those stats. Oh, I didn't even realize what kind of <laughs> accessory I had in Marth. I was doing the forging bonds yesterday. I could initiate, but his bolt tower does more damage than he does. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. You do reach, but you shouldn't be too much trouble. Turn is at three. Yeah, we'll be fine. Hollywood's always annoying. He'll die next turn. And so will Silas. This works. Um, let's see. Understood. Let's kill. <laughs> no reason to think about it. Marth kill? Yeah. And that was a free match. Much easier than the last one. Surprisingly, because the last one wasn't that scary, but... Yeah. Marth's bonus unit stats are insane. And for old time's sake, I know this video is ongoing, but let's just see what's in my rank with me. It's not going to be nearly as high as it used to because of all the new ranks, but... Let's see. Got a Henriette here. Nothing special. Freya. I kept trying to get Freya. I ended up getting Dagger. <laughs> and I think on her first banner, I got a Hell and a Triandra. And I still didn't get Freya. So she keeps dodging me for some reason. That's fine. The other units are actually more useful to me. So it's not too big of a deal. Let's see. Got a Krom here. Nothing crazy. But he does have the sealed fashion. Which is obviously really good. As I just showed. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's solid. This thing's a monster. Just a better version of Mars, uh, Mask Lucina. <laughs> I 
Guinevere's cool. She's really sick. I like her. Nothing too crazy. Nothing that stands out. Ooh, Sadith. Built to go on the offensive, which is a little weird. Ninja Hannah with Springy Axe. That's pretty good. And yeah, that'll be it for me. Thanks for watching. Peace.